Steve got out of the hospital. I got off work early so we can go visit him before you have to head to work. Whatever happened to getting paid time off? Honey, you're home. Uh, yes. Kevin, who is this? All right, Ava, let me explain. Explain? You need to ex- Oh my god! Oh no, no, this is James. I met him on Craigslist. Oh god, Kevin, you should live your authentic life or whatever, but I'm sorry, James, can you give my husband and I a minute here? Yes. You have to ask permission? I'm not sure. You're not sure? James, uh, excuse us. Okay, sure, there were warning signs. No, honey, sure. would you wait? What warning signs? Kevin! No, I'm not having sex via Craigslist. You're not, really? Not with James? No, honey, not with James, not with anyone. I wouldn't do that. But I did sort of start my own religion. No, don't worry, it's mostly for the money. Well, I just kind of posted it as a whim. You know, testing the waters. And I think you're getting the wrong idea about my new religion. I don't want to exploit anybody. You started a new religion for money. But want we'll to make sure they get something out of it. You know, I can help them cope with like the harshness of life or whatever. Then you become a psychologist, Kevin. You don't start a new religion. Well, it takes training to become a psychologist, Ava. It, it doesn't take anything to be a spiritual leader. It just makes practical sense. Look, we need the money. You know, Jerry's gonna lay me off any day now. This recession's no joke, honey. So now you're blaming the recession for your cult. Double dip recession, and people don't start religions when times are good. And don't call it a cult, all right? I haven't fleshed it out yet, but it's not gonna be a cult. Then why did we have to bring James? I don't mind coming. He doesn't mind coming. He doesn't have a lot to do these days. He lost his job in the recession. So what are you, James? Kevin's first disciple? He's gonna follow Kevin around everywhere now? Are you calling us disciples? No, I haven't really figured that all out, James. But you have to think about this practically. Save humanity tax-free income. My accountant thinks it's a great idea. Does he? Oh yeah, I think this could be a real boon financially. I mean, there's no real economic downside here. Thanks, Charles, but I'm not talking about an economic downside. Oh, oh I know. Speaking as his accountant, I mean, this is a rock-solid idea. But speaking as his best friend, there's little doubt that Kevin will go straight to hell for this one. Oh, or he could be the only one who doesn't go to hell. Thank you, James, but I haven't really figured out the whole hell thing yet. I'm not talking about hell. This is just wrong. When we get to my brother's house, can we please not talk about this? He just had surgery. He's fragile. All right, nobody bring it up. Like you'll heal people, like a faith healer. Can we please stop talking about this? No, I won't claim any supernatural powers, but never underestimate the placebo effect. The placebo effect. Yeah, technically I can do nothing and still help people. See, now that's interesting. It really is. Steve, do you mind? Oh, no, go ahead. Okay. Oh, Kevin? Okay. No, I'm gonna be gentle. Okay, so now you had surgery just two days ago, so it's safe to assume you're in a fair amount of pain. I had an organ removed. A uh, vestigial organ. But yes, okay, so, all right, now I'm gonna alleviate some of that pain right now. Okay, f just focus on my touch and believe that I can take away your pain, all right? Yeah, you have to really believe it. Okay, I'm taking away your pain. I'm taking away your pain. Yeah, there, do you feel better? I do, actually, yeah, a little bit. <gasps> It's a miracle! Please don't touch me. No, 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 it's not a miracle. That's the placebo effect. That's faith, I guess, right? But you do feel better. Once you removed your thumb from my incision scar, yeah. Not a ton. No. But a bit. Oh, God, Steve, not you too. I'm not endorsing it per se, but I'm being honest. Look, the last couple of days have altered my perception. Losing my appendix has changed me. Losing your appendix. I'm sorry, was it shot off in the war? You know, at the end of the eight weeks, my uncle actually looked forward to the hard labor. He said it was character building. And his so-called prophet didn't even have to force him to do it anymore. Cults, very powerful thing. But mine's not a cult, and I'm not claiming to be a prophet. My accountant thinks it might be beneficial. Really? Well, yeah, I mean, financially, it makes practical sense. Spiritually, it's blasphemy. Blasphemy? You don't even go to church. Well, and you're an atheist. If you can be religious without believing in God, then I can believe in God without being religious. Now, is he just doing whatever you tell him to? So far. But he's just helping out, and he offered. I've seen a couple guys like that working for free. I wouldn't have to hire you two anymore. James, James put, put that, that stuff down, down there. I wish you guys could see the stuff my uncle's cult did. I mean, like, impressive things. Pyramids. And not them, but, you know, same thing. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I think slave labor is actually an unavoidable outcome for whatever religion you do come up with, Kev. Speaking of which, if one of you can't work for free today, I'm gonna have to ask you to take the afternoon off. Oh, come well, on, come Jerry! On, hey, I don't have a wife who has a job and doing your taxes pays bupkis. But I'm not laid off, right? Not today. Probably soon, though. Blame the recession. Double dip recession. <sighs> uh, nudity! Don't forget to add nudity to your dogma. And maybe like a uh, wood nymphs. The more I think about starting my own religion, the less it seems like such a good idea. Can a man create a truly beneficial religion with no ill side effects out of whole cloth simply to make some extra cash? I don't think so. Great, now break it to James. James, I give up. Well, that's too bad. You had some very compelling ideas. I didn't have any ideas. And I found that so refreshing. You understood one very important thing. You understood that it's important to trust in something. You know, your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Yeah, I do. I do kind of believe that. Yeah, maybe that could be my thing. Hold on. Didn't Steve Jobs say that? Yes, he did. Oh god, I really would be creating a cult. Maybe you should just go home, James. You can start your own religion. That'd be weird. It was nice to meet you, James. Oh! Would $200,000 help? For the church? Oh, don't worry. I've got lots more. It's not like it's my life savings or anything. Welcome to the flock, James.